how did you just grow as a person in this industry from that role? It was something that I never, when I first was told or asked, hey, would you consider being a producer here? My first thought was like, me? Wait, hold on. Age-wise, you think about someone who's had this like lengthy, not only a lengthy career, but a lengthy career in the place you're going to produce, you know, let alone coming in there, I think mid thirties going, I don't know if this makes sense to me. And I remember, of course I said, yes, I, I think, you know, when you're a wrestler and you have, I kind of felt like I always had limited opportunities. So say yes to everything. Mm -hmm. So I would say, absolutely. I'm interested. And I remember actually the first person I messaged at when that was off or brought to my attention was, was Hawkins, who was in the building with me. And I went, Hey, I just got offered like, or asked if I could do this. And in my head, I'm trying to like justify it. And he goes, yeah, that makes total sense. How? He goes, well, what have you been doing the last like 10 years? You've been running shows. You've been teach. You've been training. Like I own a training school with you. You have two training schools. You've been teach. like what, what, how are you not a candidate for this? So there's the physical, there's the, the art of talking to, you know, whether I'm talking to a student I trained or dealing with negotiations with Bret Hart or a top, you know what I mean? Like promoter, there's, there's yeah. a skill set there. And I went, Oh, maybe this does make sense. And then what I, what I did think though, was the next process would be coming on board and kind of walk slowly, maybe work the opening dark match, maybe work with a newer talent from NXT and kind of find your footing or, you do shadow someone for a while. Like my first four months, I got to work with everybody. I got to work with, you know, fit and every literally shadowed every single agent just to see how they do things. Then you're thrown in the fire. And then I remember like very fast, like after like three months, it's like, okay, well, I remember the first time I kind of panicked was like, Oh, I have a Randy Orton match. Like how does, how does this, work? what can I say to Randy Orton? Right. But then I found that the top guys were actually more and, and women are more open to ideas from anywhere as opposed to some who I feel like newer talent, they're, they're a little more protective. They don't know what team you play for, but like the more established talent are kind of going, you know, they know you're not leading them astray. So like, Hey, do you have an idea? And you throw something out and they go, yeah, okay. I like that. I'm gonna do that. They so, can also probably at that point differentiate a bad idea and a good idea. Right. Right. You right. never know what a good idea is going to come from. Right. And it, it was, it's interesting because around that time period, around like 2019, AEW was starting. And I did have talks with not Tony, but specific people about possibly going there. And as a producer or wrestler? As a producer. Uh -huh. and, or agent to the idea, actually, I was told was like an agent to the agents where you have these experienced coaches, but they're not familiar with this new crop of guys, you know, mm. that were from the independents. How are they going to know what they do? So maybe be helpful, like, hey, this is what this person does. Go ahead, work your magic, Dean Malenko. Work your magic, Arn Anderson. And that came around the same time, but then the the producer thing was flat out in front of me. It was kind of like, take it, or I'm like, I can't say no to this. So I'm so glad that I did three years of WWE before coming to AEW because it just, it is, it's intense. But at the same time, learn, you're always, <clears throat> not only are you trying to help talent with ideas but you're you're learning yourself like there's so many things involved with just being on headset and hearing how kevin dunn orchestrates a show seeing how marty miller works camera seeing how just how the system there is a pressure cooker and learning about all these different elements let alone that's separate from dealing with talent and taking creative from vince or whoever is doing creative and then relaying that and, and it's an all-day process to come up with some days a, a five, six minute segment, and then you're you're collectively working with talent to, you know, get the best thing out there that matches what creative is. And it was a it's a pressure cooker too. It, it it's it's not for everybody. And I'm so you know, it I, I enjoyed the job though. It wasn't because of anything with the job that made me leave. It was the schedule. So um 